do you think um, that you because were there a lot of other people that were out for this role? Like, was there... I know they offered it to one actor who turned it down. Who, thank who God. Um, I, I I don't even know if I can say I know I couldn't say before, but thank thank goodness he did. But then they uh, they did go through a round of auditions where they cast another guy as Tommy, but that was before they had cast Omari Hardwick right. as Ghost. And then we went through another round of auditions, and I was actually I think the only actor cast out of New York. Right. So I uh, had to put myself on tape, send it into casting. Then I went into casting. Then I had. Uh, another session with casting, and then Courtney uh, Kemp, uh, who created the show, our show's creator, mm -hmm. and Anthony Hemingway, who directed the pilot. The first two episodes, actually, Anthony Hemingway, award-winning, uh, Emmy award-winning director. Mm -hmm. um, he's an amazing director. And then also David Noller, who was a producer. They came to New York, auditioned with a bunch of guys. Then I came out to L.A., and I did a chemistry read with Omari, as did another couple of actors for Tommy. And then I did the studio tests and ultimately got the you role. Got the okay, yeah. what's the first thing when you knew that it was a hit? What, what was the first thing? Because uh, there's a difference between the hit kind of hit you are, and like the like a, like The Walking Dead. That, but it, I think it scores the same way for us. But what was the first thing you knew when black people was like? What happened to you? What was the first thing? Well, it's happened? interesting. I mean, I got, I, I've got i always gotten love from black people my whole sure. life. I was lucky and blessed to, to, to grow up with black people that loved me, which probably doesn't hurt for the character. Right. But um, when people just say Tommy and like, they, like the passion from women, but the one time where I was like, people are crazy was I was walking down the street with a friend of mine, and this is after I killed Holly, my girlfriend on the show, yeah. played by Lucy Walters, and this woman said, oh, Tommy, I want you to choke me. Man. <laughs> I was like, Wait a second. whoa. I'm like, really? Wait. What just happened there? Yeah. Um, so I was like, this is, this is we'll affecting hang out after people. This. Let's, uh, let's when you killed Holly, uh, was the first time my wife didn't watch you fuck up episode. Mm. She didn't, but I understood why. I'm like, man, he got to. I mean, it ain't me and you. I'm yeah. not gonna really kill you. But yeah. But you know, I, I think women didn't want you to kill Holly, but I think you have such a good balance. Anytime we cheer for you over uh, right. Amari Hardrick, let me just tell you something. Because right. I was shocked that I liked your character so much. Because it is crazy, but it's just enough to make me hate you, but more to make me right. love you more. I want you to win. I want you to find love. If I you could choke Tyreek, that would be my favorite. Thing. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. Choke him just out. Just watch the season. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> where, where does Tommy get his moral viewpoint from? Because he is a killer, but he's honorable. Like him, so many times he could have killed Ghost. He could have went the other way. Why didn't he? Because uh, there is a street morality that Tommy takes seriously. He's kind of like this street referee a lot of times. It's like you signed up for this game, and there are certain rules of the game, and there is the honor amongst thieves, right. and Tommy really believes that. Right. There is this kind of old-school factor to Tommy that is, I think, more honorable than a lot of things that are happening today. Right. Um, not that there should be. I'm not right. like promoting violence right. or, or, or criminal activity, right. but there used to be a code of ethics that I think Tommy harkens back to of like, no, we, we don't tell on them. Right. I don't care if they're against us. Right. We don't set people up. Right. And I think the most hurtful thing to Tommy is when, which was kind of glossed over, was but when uh, he talked to Kanan, when he was like, you set Kanan up? Right. Yeah, like, I saw that. What? Right. That blew, I think, and I feel like that was the the initial. That's season three. That's that was the initial big rift between right. these guys. Right, he when, broke the code. Uh, yeah, and then so I think that we had a little bit more time with Tommy when Tommy was thinking, which Tommy doesn't think a whole lot. Right. So I think when he does do the <laughs> thinking, <laughs> Tommy just thinks sometimes. <laughs> Black people be shuzzing. Come on. <laughs>